everybody. everybody. It's, it's Monday, Monday night, night mail, mail and reviews. reviews. And welcome to our house. I'm the penguin. And I'm the chef. And it's good to see you guys. It's been a few days. So <laughs> we're going to be doing some reviews. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of driving the last three days. Lots of driving. So I'm going to turn you guys around here and see what we have. Now this is not going to be all of our reviews. This is just going to be a few of our reviews. So, um, you'll just have to stay tuned and watch the rest of the video as we go along. Yep. So, right now, um, we're going to be reviewing a couple of things that was sent to us from g and Papa. Um, but before then, we've got a card here that was sent to us from Vicki at Living in the Moment. And we're going to open this one up. Thank you so much, Vicki. Um, we have something we're going to be sending to you as well. Um, we just have to get it. We have a couple of things we need to get in the mail, which we will get to that. Oh, how precious is that? Tis a great day to be Irish. Look at that dog. Mm, <laughs> is that fur baby not adorable? My brother and sister-in-law used to have an Irish setter. His name was Charlie. Um, it says, here's wishing ye all the very best on St. Patrick's Day. Blessings and the green... <laughs> To you, always Vicky and Jade. So you can see that right there. Thank you so much, Vicky. If you guys haven't went over and checked out Vicky and Jade, her channel is Living in the Moment. I'll put her her channel in the description box below. They are both adorable, and we just love them. Um, Vicky has some really informative information that she's been posting. Plus, she does hauls. She does cooking. And just a little bit of everything. So please go on over and check her out. And that card worked out perfect because we just decorated the table for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, Chef, um, you can see he did our little, sorry about the, the light, but he did our little tree in green. Mm -hmm. And coins and ribbon and it has green lights on it actually, but it's too light in here for you to see it. You found the perfect thing to go with our gun to Walmart sign. Uh, Walmart mini cart. <laughs> we went to Walmart and got lucky. <laughs> we were just... Uh, we were actually going through the toy aisle because Chef was looking for something for someone. Um, I'm not going to say. Um, but as we were going through, we saw this little Walmart shopping cart replica. And nobody's ever seen one that we know of. Even the people that work there. Where'd you get that at? Where'd you get that at? Yeah, it was the only one that we saw anywhere in the store. And yeah, I've never seen them in another store. And it has real metal. It's real metal yeah, and has real, real casters on it, the wheels. Yeah, it's got a Walmart tag on the front of it, like a real cart. And the reusable Walmart bags. It was just super, super cute, so we had to get that. And our sign from Val there, this has gone Walmart. to Walmart, mm -hmm. which we hang it on the door, we do, when we go to, when we go to Walmart, and so. Then, and then I made, I made the homemade sign, like I always make a homemade sign. Oh, yeah, Chef, you know, Chef, he has to, he's like very creative, being his little creative self, kiss me, I'm Irish, and then if you flip it over... On this side, whoops, it's up, never mind, I can't flip it, I have to turn it. Yeah, you gotta turn it. Turn it. Kiss me, Blarney Stone. <laughs> so, oh, I just thought that was super cute. Chef always does cute little things like that. So I'm going to stick that back up there. So anyway, we're going to try these Funyuns, the Flamin' Hot Funyuns. I've been actually so excited to get into these, but I've been waiting patiently like I'm supposed to until it's time to try them. So we're going to be trying them, and we're also going to cook up these kimchi noodles that g and Papa sent us. Also, we're going to be putting their channel link in the description box below. If you haven't met g and Papa, I've already told you guys a million times, you just have to go over and see them. Wonderful, wonderful people. We already reviewed the honey that they sent us, which yeah, was the really best good. honey we've ever had when we did a uh, chef's crock pot meal. All right. That was the most delicious honey. I'll also put a link to his crock pot meal in the description box in case you guys missed it and you want to go back. Oh, no, it wasn't the crock pot meal. It was the Little House on the Prairie cinnamon chicken. Oh, boy. What's That's me? when we... Yeah, you put it in the cinnamon chicken. Yeah. So... But don't... These are not the only reviews we're doing. Like she said, after this review, we have several other things we found that we're going to... Yes, several do. things. I don't. A lot of you probably haven't tried some of these yet because we, we drove a long way yesterday to find some of them. So Yeah, we had to go on the hunt for dog food and we drove a couple hours away 
And while we were gone, we found a couple of things that we hadn't had before. Plus, we found a couple of things last week that we were going to do a review on and we hadn't yet. So, let us get the noodles cooked up. Right. And as soon as we get them done, then we'll be back to show you what they look like. And we're going to eat some. Okay, guys. While Chef's fixing those up, I'm just going to chat with you guys a little bit. I hope everybody's been doing great. Um, I gave you guys an update on our fur baby. His appointment was Friday. What a hot mess that was. The trip over there was just crazy. Um, but we got it done. And a few other appointments that we had. Yeah. Anyway, this is what the package looks like inside the package. This is kimchi noodles. Look at the little raccoon. Isn't he cute? He's slurping on a noodle. It says seasoned with real kimchi. Yeah, the yeah. these are made from Nong Shim. And me and the chef, we really like kimchi. Um, and this is the directions on the back. We're going to be doing the microwave directions, if you can see that. But it just has all kinds of stuff in it. It's got Napa cabbage extract, leek extract, beef extract, beef fat. It just has a lot of ingredients. Red jalapeno peppers, red chili pepper. Um, it says on here that um, the serving size, because this is a family size bag. So uh, serving size is half a bag. Calories is 270. If you're eating the whole bag, then it's 520. So nine grams of fat and half a serving for sat fat. Uh, one gram of polyunsaturated and 3.5 of the monounsaturated. Mono no cholesterol, 1,030 milligrams of sodium, which is not terrible compared to a lot of ramen noodles when you're eating the whole package, but um, 40 carbs, dietary fiber one, sugars one, and includes additional sugars less than one. Got six grams of protein, 2.2 milligrams of iron, and 170 milligrams of potassium. So, <clears throat> as soon as we get these fixed up, then we'll be back and we'll give them a taste test. So, we'll see you here shortly. Okay, guys, we're back and our noodles are done. So, while we're letting them cool because they're extremely hot, but I'll first I'll show you inside. You can see that and it has real kimchi pieces in it. Yeah, there's, there's two If you can see down in there. Two packages plus your noodles. You put the those packages in first and set the noodles on top and then put the water on one package is dry seasoning you can't see and then the other package is kind of clear and you can see it's dehydrated or dried kimchi so while we're waiting on those to cool down we thought we would go ahead and try these flaming hot look at those things flaming hot onions yeah, that's, the flaming hot onions are probably going to make the soup <laughs> cool. so i'm gonna if i can get the camera to Raise up right. Anyway, that's the onions, flaming hot. So chef's gonna open them for Onion us. flavored rings. I've been anxious to try these. I want to see how hot they really are. It smells not overbearing. That yeah, smells like a onion. That's what they look like. Very bright red. Yeah, very very bright red. Huh. I'm just taking a half of one. They taste like a onion, but they've got that. That little vinegar, vinegary taste that you get from the heat on them. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a touch mm -hmm. so far. I think it's going to be one of them kind of things, you, if you eat like four or five of them in a row, it's going to build up on you. Yeah. Got a feeling. One's okay. <laughs> I can feel the heat. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Hey. We like bunions, though, so. Yeah, I love bunions. So what do you think, Chef? Good. Good? Heat's starting to sneak up on me. I've ate, I've ate four pieces, which is about two rings, but... We give them two thumbs up. Yeah. I can feel the heat starting to build on the back of my tongue now. Thank you, Dumont Papa. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't eat too many of these. Like I said, four, five, I'm on this is five pieces. I'm okay. Not, I'm not going to pull a heat beat up, but they're, really, they're very tasty. Mm -hmm. They have a good flavor. They have very good flavor. So if you like stuff that's a little hot... Need to be right up your alley. Mm -hmm. We will be oh. back on camera again, guys, here before long. We have uh, our friend H sent us something that we have to be on camera to do a review for and a taste test with that one also. Not to change the subject, but 
when we were at Sam's yesterday, or a couple days ago, we found these Nestle Splashes and four assorted flavors. Grape Acai, Lemon, Mixed Berry, and... Pineapple Mango. Pineapple Mango. $7.98 for 36 bottles. Comes out to, I think it said 24.4 cents a bottle. Yeah, I've really added, cheap. I added a little squirt of Myers Lemonade mixed to it. That's why it's got the tint. It's usually clear. But it was pretty good just being clear. Yeah. So if you guys happen to be a Sam's Club member, you might look around. That's really cheap for getting a drink that's already mm -hmm. flavored. Yeah, really, things, really good. The way things are going right now. We like that splash water. All right, now time for this. Now, that being said, I cooked hers first, so it's had longer to set and cool. Mine just came out of the microwave a couple minutes ago, so. So I'm just going to stir not, it around. Not just regular-wise, but. Let you guys see it again. Wise, see, there's a, a piece hotter. of kimchi right there in the middle. Yeah, it's got some nice little pieces of kimchi. Mm -hmm. And like I said, me and the chef, we like kimchi. So thank you so much, G Mom Papa, because uh -huh. we've been waiting to try this. Yeah, we have. So I'm going to have to take mine behind the camera for a minute. Whoop, if you guys don't mind. I'm not much with a pair of these, but I'm trying to wrap the noodles around. You guys can see that. Poo -poo -poo. See that kimchi hanging on there for dear life? Help me! Help me! <laughs> There's mine. You can see it. You did a good job of wrapping there, Chef. A good flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, heck yeah. Winner, winner, kimchi noodle dinner. Yeah, that's got a good flavor. Get your fork there, Chef. Those are definitely a winner, you guys. You getting any heat from them? Not, not a whole lot of heat. A little bit. My tongue's still hot from the... Onion. See, there's a big piece of kimchi right there. But it's tolerable. I mean, it's it's not just a heat. It's flavorful. It's a flavorful flavorful kind of heat. So, yeah. I, if you guys can um, find these in your Walmart, definitely. I would definitely recommend them. Because me and the chef, we've not seen them yet. Yeah, but I hope we do. Yeah, definitely hope we see them again. So, you guys don't have to finish listening to us eat and slurp. I'm going to go ahead and end this out right now. We're giving both a two thumbs up. Yeah, those are really good and flavorful. Thank you so much, Gma and Papa. These yeah. are awesome. So we're going to finish our noodles. We're going to get set up, and we're going to bring you guys back a bunch of reviews. Yeah, what, what are we going to do first? We're going to bring you back for a review on... Um, how about the Irish M&Ms? We'll do some Irish M&Ms. Yeah, Irish M&Ms. We'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see, the next thing up on our review is M&M's new Key Lime Pie, White Chocolate Key Lime Pie. We were at Target yesterday, and we saw these. We have not seen them in our Walmarts. Yeah, I don't know if they're new or they've had them out before, but they're just the perfect color for St. Patrick's Day. See the limes on the edges of the seals uh -huh. on the bag? That's, like, super cute. So we're going to give these a try. It looks like they got light green, dark green, and white. And G Mom Papa, as Chef said, and I agree, those are the best ramen noodles that we have ever had. Yes, they are. I'm still sniffling from eating them, but man, they are good. They are like super, super good. Yep. I'm going to get Chef some scissors so we Thank can you. open up the bag of M&M's. Like I said, we have a few more things that we're going to be reviewing, so I know it's going to be a lengthy video. I'll try to shorten it where I can. But well, they're bigger than a normal M&M. Yeah, there's light green, and there's white, and there's dark green, if you can see them. Yeah, right there. Did you guys see the, the um, we saw in the news yesterday where the kid's breaking, he broke the world record for being able to stack M &M. six M&Ms on top of each other? Yeah. Well, how are they, Chef? Pretty good. They have a, some lime flavor to them. The inside just looks like that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, all of them are white in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to say, because a lot of M&Ms that they put out saying, oh, it tastes like this or it tastes like that, to me, it doesn't taste like this or that. This tastes like a key lime pie. Yeah, it's got good lime flavor. Legit, guys. This is really, really good. Yeah. Can you see those? Oops, I lost one. You guys can see... These are very, very good. Oh, <laughs> I guess Chef likes them because he just dumped out a whole bunch. Went rolling. 
These are really good. And if you ever missing some shell on them, but mm, 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 mm. they really taste like lime. If you like lime, you like key lime pie, go get you some of these. Hopefully Walmart has them by now. Really, really good. I got an M, an N. An M and an N. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. We'll move on yeah. to the next item. Yeah, guess what's next? You'll never figure it out. Guess what flavor goes with lime? I don't know. We'll find out when we come back. Okay, guys. We're back with review number three. And see what we have before us? Lemon crisp Kit Kats. Yep. Lemon goes with lime. Yep. Lemon and lime go together. So we're going to give these a try. We also got these at Target. So they're the miniature size lemon crisp. Ooh. Crisp wafers and a lemon flavored white cream. Naturally and artificially flavored. Okay. That's what one looks like, if you guys can see it, if it'll focus. There we go. All right. Taste test. Now, my okay. opinion, they're not as potent of lemon as the M&Ms are. Right, they're creamy lemon. Yeah. The M&Ms are a little bit of a tart lime in sweet. To me, the Kit Kats, they're lemon, but they're just all sweet lemon. Yeah, it's a creamy kind of lemon mm -hmm. flavor. Kind of like a lemon pudding or something like that. I'm not picking up any tartness. Yeah. So if you only like candies that have a tart lemon, then you probably wouldn't like these. Not bad, though. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, I'd give them like a 4.7 or a 4.8 out of 5. I'd buy them again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely for something different. Yeah. They're really, really good. Okay, guys. So, that is our review on the Lemon Crisp Kit Kats. We've had, we've had some candy now. So, what do you... When, when you think about having candy and something that goes with candy, what do you think about? Hmm? I, we'll find out when we come back. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. Okay. What goes with candy? Popcorn if you're at the movies. <laughs> Especially if you're at the movies. Right. Candy and popcorn go hand in hand. And we don't know if the, how long either one of these has been out either. We just found them at Sam's not too long ago. Yeah. So. I <clears throat> I saw Jules and M. They showed their Sam's haul and they had the Smart Food Doritos Nacho Cheese Popcorn. They hadn't tried it yet though. But I said I wanted to get some. I'll include Jules and M's link in the description box below as well. But while we were there... I found that. Yeah, and that does say new. Yeah, new. They're called Like Air. Like Air Puff Corn Pancake Flavored. Yeah. So if you guys like puff corn like I do, I mean, I like popcorn, but, you know, the holes get stuck in your teeth and get stuck on your tongue and, and yada yada. I like the puff corn. Yeah, I'm a popcorn eater. She's a puff corn eater. Yeah. So we decided to get a bag of each. Now, as you can tell, both bags have already been opened. Yeah, we've been eating them. Yeah, because we've, we've had these for about a week, probably. Um, but we'll talk to you a little bit about them. Now, the Smart Food, the Doritos Nacho Cheese Flavor. Um, it is the Smart Food Popcorn. It's a limited time flavor. I believe this is only uh, Sam. I believe this is Sam's exclusive. Um, 70 calories per cup on the Smart Food Popcorn. I'm not sure on the, the Puff Corn. Oh, it's 50 calories per cup on the Puff Corn. So, um, on the bag, if you can see, it says, Better than popcorn won't get caught in your teeth. Gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, non-GMO on the puff corn. So, we're going to pour some into a bowl here, if Chef will. And we'll start out with the Doritos popcorn. And we'll show you guys what it looks like. Like I said, we've already had it. Yeah. It's kind of hard. To, you can't really see on the yellow bowl, you can't really see how orange it is better it looks like you know it's kind of like the color of a doritos there you go you get a better idea of the color now maybe a little bit um it's it looks like a doritos if you're seeing it face to face hang on a second we'll just go ahead and take some of the puff corn and put next to it. uh the puff corn i'm pretty sure this is also a sam's exclusive so if you don't have a sam's nearby you you might want to take a trip to sam's and get yourself some of these goodies while they're there. And you can really smell the puff corn when you take it out of the bag. It yeah. really has a that smell. So we'll start with the Doritos first. Right. Um, does it taste like a nacho cheese Doritos? 
You betcha. Yeah, and it still tastes like popcorn, too. Yeah. Tastes so, just like a nacho cheese Doritos, but in a popcorn form. Yeah, five out of five for me on that one. It's yes. really good. Five out of five for me as well. Um, it has a lot, a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. I've been taking mine because it's one of them things that sneaks up on you. I, I don't know, about two cups of it straight. Mm -hmm. And that's, my back of my throat started getting a little burned to it. So I made some plain popcorn and mixed it with plain popcorn and it still has a lot of flavor. So. Yeah. Chef says it had a little spice to him after he ate it for a while. Yeah. To me, I didn't pick up any spice. Just yeah. a lot of flavor. But I'm more sensitive to it. So. Yes. But if you haven't tried them, I would highly recommend and so would Chef. All right. This is the Nacho Cheese Doritos Smart Food Popcorn. Now, popcorn. You guys ever bought the Cheetos puff corn, yeah. Chester Cheetos puff corn, and cheese then doodles, cheese, uh -huh. cheese doodles or something like that? And there's another brand that makes Mike Sells makes these. These are really, really good. Do they taste like a pancake? Yes. They taste like a puff corn, but you also get that hint of pancake syrup. Yeah, pancake maple syrup. And you get a you get a big hint of butter. It's really good. These are very, very good. <laughs> I and they also have the like air in the regular butter flavor and they have it in white cheddar again that's our review on the like air popcorn pancake flavor and the nacho cheese doritos popcorn hey everything we've had so far i've given a thumbs up today ain't that mm -hmm. strange you have i'm i am so proud of you and i always tell it i tell it like it is i don't want people to try it and say i try it that's right but not to change the subject, but uh, I want to send out uh, get well readings to... Uh, oh, yes, guys. Please say a prayer for Amy from Martin's Midlife Misadventures. Yeah, she had, a, um, she had a fall, really bad fall. Yeah, she did have a bad fall, and she hurt her back, and we need her to have a full recovery. Yep. They are a wonderful couple. We just love them to pieces. They can accomplish anything, those two together. Yep. We just absolutely love them. So we will put their uh, link to their channel in the description box as well. And Okay, guys, so we're going to end this review, but we will be back here in just a few with a more review. Okay, guys, what goes better with candy and popcorn but jelly beans? Mm -hmm. We found donut-flavored jelly beans. I don't know if they're new or old, but we've never seen them before. Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah. It says there's five flavors. Original glazed, chocolate iced with sprinkles. Cinnamon, apple filled, strawberry iced, and glazed blueberry cake. Which is maybe my favorite, probably, because I love blueberry cake. Yeah. All right. So that's what they look like. So obviously, yeah. this is a strawberry. Yeah, I'd say. So we're going to try a strawberry one. I can tell you for me, it's got that cakey flavor right off the bat. Uh, real light strawberry, not strong. But it tastes like a cake donut. Yeah, it does. It reminds you of eating a donut. Yeah. I'm gonna try a chocolate. Blueberry is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. What you get about that third bite on a chocolate one? Okay. Mm-hmm. So yes, guys, to us, they do taste like yeah. cake donuts. We, but okay, we'll get these put I away. Still, we'll... I still give them like a 4.5 or a 4.6 for being what tasting like they're supposed to. So. They would be definitely worth a dollar to stick in your kids' oh, yeah. Easter baskets. Well, we've had we've had popcorn, we've had candy. You got jelly beans. That reminds me of Easter. Yeah. What's the best thing that goes with Easter? We'll find out when we come back. <laughs> What's, What's up, up peeps? peeps? That's what? right. What's more Easter than having peeps? And we've got four flavors that me and the chef have never tried before. Yeah, we have party cake, marshmallow cotton candy, marshmallow sparkly wild berry, and... The hot tamales. Fierce, fierce cinnamon. cinnamon. They're red. They are very, very red, if you can see that. Never, ever seen the others before. Ever. No, we have never seen these before. So, we got the hot tamales um, at Target. Uh-huh. And we got the sparkly wild berry, the party cake, and the cotton candy ones at Walmart. Yeah, they're all different sizes, too. These, these two are five counts. This one here's an eight count. This one here says it's a 15, 15 count. A 15 count, so... Which one you want to try first? Well, let's save the cinnamon for last. So let's let's try the party cake. Okay. We're definitely getting our fill of sugar right now. <laughs> Ain't no joke. There's the party cake ones. You can see them. See the little sparklies? Hold them still. 
Oh, aren't they cute? Thank you. They're good. Maybe a little vanilla? Yeah, they're good. And there's a little vanilla hint with the marshmallow and some sprinkly sugar you can taste. But I don't think they taste like a party cake. Very fresh and soft. Very, very good. They don't taste like a party cake. Yeah. I wouldn't say party cake, no. As far as being tasting good, I give them like a 4.7. As far as tasting like they're supposed to, I'd only give them about a 2. Yeah. They do not To taste me, good. they taste just like a plain marshmallow peep, but yeah. with maybe with a little bit more of a vanilla flavor. Yeah, under the cotton candy. Okay. Try this one. Down the hatch. <laughs> Again, all I'm getting is sugar and marshmallow. I'm not getting any cotton candy flavor. I'm getting just a very, very, very little cotton candy flavor. You no? Know, I just run some across my tongue that time. I got just a, ta a, yeah. a tad. Just a light hint of cotton candy yeah. in that one. Really light, but it's there. Still very good. Yeah, it's very good. You can't go wrong with a peep though, right, peep? <laughs> yeah, that, that one I give it a little bit better rating. They get like a three and a half as far as flavor. Now, these do smell. Oh my goodness, they do. Yeah, these are the wild berry ones. They're shaped like bunnies. They do really smell like berry when you open the package. Yep. Most definitely. There's what they look like up close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Off with their ears. Yeah. That, oh man. Yeah, that tastes like wild berry. That's an immediate flavor, guys. Yeah. That is like, as soon as it hits your mouth, you can immediately taste the berry because it has a tartness. I picked up tartness. Yeah, right off the bat. Yes. These so far are my favorite. What about you? Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. They're loaded with flavor. Wow, those have the best flavor. Absolutely best flavor. Okay, we're gonna take a break and rinse our mouth. Almost, yeah. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We had to rinse our mouth out, but definitely, if yeah. you guys want a good one, this is it. Yeah, the first ones that were supposed to be... Uh, Cotton candy? No, uh, birthday cake. Or party cake. I would give them, like I said, flavor-wise, two out of five. Party cake. Yeah. Maybe a, a three and a half, because you get just a touch of cotton candy flavor. That Definitely, one's over the top. Yeah, five out of five. It yeah. really tastes like you've got wild berry flavor. So we wonder if the hot tamale ones will compare. They're very, very red. Yeah, very red. They smell like cinnamon? Yeah, very <laughs> strong cinnamon. Strong cinnamon. Here's what they look like, little red aliens. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Yes, definitely smell like cinnamon. Definitely tastes like cinnamon, too. That's what the inside looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another five out of five. Uh-oh, another five out of five for me. I never thought a cinnamon marshmallow would taste so good. It does. Very, very good. Yeah. Not too hot. No. But that dusting, that dusting on the outside tastes just like a hot tamale candy. Yeah, very cinnamony. Very, very good. Yeah, they're really good peeps, so. Well, guys. Definitely recommend the hot tamales and the sparkly wild berries, and I would skip the cotton candy and the party cake ones. For yeah, your, unless. If you're, buying, if you're buying for kids this year, if you want them to have flavored things. Unless definitely. you just like the plain marshmallow flavor. Right. Then I would just stick can, with those. But you can just buy marshmallows for that. Okay, so we have reviewed kimchi noodles. We've reviewed flaming hot, hot onions. Rings. We have reviewed lemon cream Kit Kats. We have reviewed key lime M&Ms. Which are perfect for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We've reviewed Jelly Belly Donut Flavored Jelly Beans. Yep. We have reviewed... Uh, Doritos Nacho Cheese Popcorn. And the Like Air Pancake Flavored Popcorn Puffs. I don't know about you, but I'm stuffed. Not me, I'm starving. <laughs> Um, I was going to do some cooking in this video, guys, but I think that that's going to be um, something that's going to be for tomorrow, probably, right? Because yeah. time's kind of got kind of got away from us a little bit. We will be doing some cooking tomorrow. Oh, you got to show him my flower pot. I'm telling Chef, he's got to show you my flower pot. No. Hang on, guys. 
Okay, guys, we're back. I just want to show you guys the flower planner that Chef got me the other day. I thought it was super cute. I think this one is called Sweet Rose. Pioneer Woman. I didn't even know she made planners. He was out in the lawn and garden section of Walmart, and he was looking at them, and he's like, do you like this? And I said, yeah. I like this pattern right here. I like the plaid patterns. We always say this in every video. We've got a lot of stuff that we have to review. I had to send out some emails to a couple of companies today letting them know we haven't forgot about them and that we'll be doing their product reviews here very, very soon. Plus, we're um, we're planning a live for the future here, right? Probably it'd be a good St. Patrick's Day thing, don't you think, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, so. We got, we got a game to play on live. Everybody can play. Yeah, yeah, it'll be something different. Uh, game something something different not trivia not, just something well, different we could use trivia in it but yeah, you're gonna have to do something at the beginning to get to yeah. the next part okay you well, sank my battleship no that ain't it no that's not it <laughs> all right guys we're gonna go so i can get this video edited and get it up so enjoy hope you enjoyed all the reviews again thank you to g mom papa for yeah, the was, wonderful that was, that noodles was, that was the most delicious soup i think i ever had yeah thank you vicky at living in the moment for our absolutely adorable yeah. saint patrick's day card with the cutest irish and, setter on it and that's where it's going to stay until after saint patrick's day yeah and um all right and i will have everybody's links in the description box below and we're going to go and we will see you in another video tomorrow see you guys later jazz hand <laughs> bye guys